Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can keep me going, refreshed and inspired. Also, if you find my videos helpful to your studies, then don't forget to subscribe. For the given frame and loadings shown below, determine approximately the positive moment in beam EF, the negative moment in beam EF, the maximum shear in EF, and the reaction at K. So here is the given figure. So for positive moment in EF, it, it is 0.08 W L square, where W is 15 kilonewtons per meter and length is 10. And that formula was derived in the lecture videos for this approximate analysis of frames due to lateral lo due to gravity loads rather so mef positive is 0 0.08 wl square substituting 0 0.08 times 15 times 10 square so the positive moment in beam ef is equal to 120 kilonewton meter the negative Moment in beam EF is 0 0.045 WL square and W is still 15 and length is 10. So 0 0.045 15 times 10 square. So the negative moment in EF is 67.5 kilonewtons meter. And for letter C, the maxi maximum shear in EF. It is just WL over 2, or the reaction at vertical reaction at E or at F. So 15 times 10 over 2. And it is 75 kilonewton meter. Then the reactions at K, since these are all gravity loads, there is no lateral load so naturally the horizontal reaction component of reaction at K would be zero. Let's draw the free body diagram. And we have here shear in E right 75 which we have already solved. Then moment EF which is negative so at the right uh, clockwise 67.5 which is this there's no load in each he so it's zero then zero also shear at c just to the right the shear call that vcr or reaction at c at the left at, and at the right we have also mcr which we're going to compute Call this shear at C just to the left and MC left. The weight of the columns are not mentioned, so therefore we just ignore them. And MCL just to the left. <laughs> then that's KX, KY, and moment, which is, exp let's just assume it is counterclockwise, MK. So KY is summation for SY and K, KX is zero, by the way, for part D. Then V sub CR is W, which is 12 times 10 over 2, R sub C. So 60 kilonewtons. VC left is 12 times 15 over 2. So it is equal to 90 kilonewtons. So finally, we can solve KY, summation for SY, equals 75 plus 60 plus 90. So KY is equal to 225 kilonewtons upward. Then summation moment about K equals 0, considering this free body diagram. So M sub CR, let's go solve for M sub CR, by the way, 0.045 times load W times 10 square. 
here it is 54 kilonewton meter while mc left is 12 times 0 0.045 times 12 times 15 square and it is equal to 1 to 1.5 kilonewtons meter finally we can now solve mk so mk plus mc left which is 1 to 1.5 equals 67.5 plus mcr which is 54 so mk is equal to for this problem it is zero so that's it for this problem i hope that you were able to understand and follow the solutions as well as the explanations